psychologists Harry and Margaret Harlow conducted an experiment with infant rhesus monkeys. These infant rhesus monkeys were orphaned, so their only source of comfort was a cloth that was placed in their cage. Without a mother figure, these rhesus infant monkeys were alone. In order to test the importance of a mother figure, a wired mother and a cloth mother were placed in a cage. After being released into the cage with the mothers, the rhesus monkey quickly rushes over to the wired mother for sustenance. However, the bond between a mother and infant does not develop. Only for sustenance, the monkey then scurries over to the cloth mother where it will stay and cuddle with it for hours on end. After a fear factor is introduced, the monkey then scurries over to the cloth mother in order to obtain both protection and comfort. A bond is then developed between the artificial mother and the rhesus infant monkey. When the fear factor is introduced to a monkey who was raised all alone without a mother, the monkey will stay alone. It will not even go to the cloth mother. The experiment concluded that the one of comfort can damage an infant for life. Harlow's experiment can also be applied to humans. Notice the social interaction that is occurring between the mother and her child. The child is reacting to the interactions that the mother is giving to her. In this part of the experiment, the mother is asked to stare blankly and react to nothing that her child does. Notice how the child is trying to grab the attention of her mother in order to obtain that social interaction that they once had before. After trying everything she can to obtain her mother's attention, she starts to cry. From this experiment, we are able to observe how important nurture and social interaction is to a child. Nurture is our nature.